Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. This is our morning get-together live here on Facebook, Monday through Saturdays, also available on YouTube, where you can share your news with my news, and we combine news from our city, from our state, from our country, from your lives, from what's going on here in Puerto Vallarta. We combine questions, ideas, thoughts, comments, suggestions, everything nurturing that we can get our hands on so that we can put it all together and put it to good use here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. Today is February 7th. It is a Monday, and today is a day off here in Mexico. Uh, Mexico celebrates Constitution Day on February 5th, but it is one of those fancy schmancy holidays that gets shifted to a work day. So many Mexicans are enjoying a three-day weekend, and it shows because this morning when I try to go find some interesting news to share with you, well, guess what? It is very, very scarce, scarce, scarce. There are no, there is no news. There is no news, or at least not interesting news. Um, and um, I did find news about an event that is not going to happen until March. I found news about how to download your COVID vaccine certification certificate, but we already know how to do that, or at least we've covered it. But the good news is I have plenty of stuff to share with you today. Uh, most of it concerns with two topics. Number one, what do locals or what do I do for fun uh, or along with my local friends on a day off? And number two, we are going to enjoy a love letter to my dear friend and musician Zoe Lewis, who is in town performing for a few weeks at Encanto. She joined me yesterday um, along with other choice friends. We had a lovely, lovely day off and I had a chance to interview Zoe for you to get to know her better. And hopefully, if it's within your comfort zone, you will feel inclined to catch one of her shows at Encanto uh, while she's here. And she's here for quite a few weeks. So I'm going to tell you about that. But first, we uh, offer a great welcome to everyone, as always. It is a pleasure to see you. Good mornings. It is a pleasure to wake up and see that there are new people joining our broadcast. And uh, the way you can let us know that you are new is simply write the word new in your comment. And that way we'll give you a nice little welcome. If you um, don't, um, I I'm sorry, if you have something truly important that you wish to share that we don't want to miss uh, during the comment section, please add a capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment. And we'll take a look at it along with the rest of all the wonderful comments. A uh, quick tip of the day, if you ever have to wear one of these bondage things and you have a V-neck, trust me, it just you, you just never get it to look good. So I think I'm over it. I don't care. <laughs> and I hope you are, um, you are with me in this lack of fashion style that I've been wearing for the last three weeks. It's been three weeks since I tripped. Three weeks yesterday, uh, three weeks ago, um, Today, I canceled. I just went online briefly and I said, I'm sorry, I cannot do this. But it is nice that I'm healing and I'm feeling better every day. Uh, so let us get started with today. And I'd like to start by telling you the story of Zoe Lewis in Puerto Vallarta from my point of view. It was, I, oh my goodness, it's got to have been close to 10 years ago that... Um, that Zoe first came to my attention through Tracy Parks. At the time, Tracy was still the artistic director at The Palm. Uh, eventually, he stopped being the artistic direction, the, uh, the artistic director there, and that is what prompted him to open his own venue, but I don't want to get ahead of the game. At the time, um, a group called Well Strong, which you probably heard of, it's a... It's a uh, string quartet that does all kinds of fun things on stage. They were already coming to Puerto Vallarta thanks to their manager, Mark Cortali. I don't know if I'm pronouncing Mark's last name properly, but Mark is a very well-known cabaret uh, and musician manager in the Northeast of the United States. Now he's managing not only Wellstrong, but he manages Zoe Lewis and manages um, uh, people like Patti Lupone, for example. And at the time, uh, 
she mentioned Puerto Vallarta to Zoe. Zoe and uh, her partner Sharon have a uh, live in, in Provincetown, although Zoe is from England and uh, and Sharon is from elsewhere in the United States. So Zoe was happy working in Provincetown, which is a tourist destination, which is very similar to ours. Lots of shows, lots of drag queens, lots of cabarets, so forth and so on. And Mark suggested to Zoe to Zoe to, to look into Puerto Vallarta as a possible destination where she could perform. And I remember clearly the day in which um, in which um, Tracy sent me an email with a few YouTube links of, of Zoe's music. And he asked me, uh, well, what do you think of her? Should I book her or not? Now, I don't know how many people uh, Tracy asked that question too, but as soon as I saw the videos of Zoe performing, I thought to myself, oh my God, she has to perform here. So what was it that compelled me about Zoe Lewis at the time? Well, uh, it was her musicianship. Her, She's a jazz piano player, but she she's plays other instruments, including uncommon instruments like spoons and harmonica and accordion. She also juggles things on stage and she's an amazing storyteller. And I love storytelling. I love an engaging story. And uh, But what's fascinating about Zoe, and I saw that from the very beginning, is that she takes all these snapshots of her travels and turns them into wonderful anecdotes that she shares with you while she's on stage. And then she turns them into songs. A lot of her songs are like musical photographs of her travels. Um, so I saw the videos and I said to Tracy, please book her. And I knew that I had to meet her. And, when, and I had the chance of meeting her uh, from, from the, her, the first time that she visited. And for me, it was love at first sight. And I'm happy to say that we have been friends ever since. She's been coming back pretty much every year. Since then, she took a year off uh, last year uh, because of the pandemic and whatnot. But she had and maybe continues to have some very successful um, at-home performances from her home in Provincetown. She positions her piano next to a window that faces out to her patio or a garden. I don't know what, but through that window come in a multitude of performers that complement her playing. One of such performers is the wonderful Roxanne Layton, who I've admired from afar. She plays recorder. She has been a member of the Mannheim Steamroller Orchestra for over 20 years. And for all I know, looking at her bio, we went to New England Conservatory at the same time. I don't even know, but the good news is that I get to find out about this uh, in a few weeks because she's coming to Puerto Vallarta for the first time to perform with Zoe. So um, so that is the story of how I've met Story. I've, I've met Story. I've met Zoe. And uh, I'd like to now share with you a little interview that we recorded yesterday um, while we were enjoying a day off so that you can get to, to know her a little better. And then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about Zoe's music and we'll talk about how we spent a perfect day off yesterday. So let me push the button. Hello everyone. I am Paco, but you already know that. And I'm sitting here with my dear friend, Zoe Lewis, Hello. who is here from Provincetown performing at Encanto. And we decided to take a little bit of time off this Sunday just to find a way for you to get to know her better. How are you doing? I am doing very well. Salut everybody, I'm in heaven. I'm here with this lovely gentleman. We just had lunch and um, you know, I'm busy working hard in Puerto Vallarta as we all are and um, I'm having a blast playing music here. How many years has it been now, Zoe? It must be about six or seven years. Six or seven I've been years. And I mean, I came here 25 years ago and first when I saw Puerto Vallarta and then it was a dream to come back and perform in the Palm first and then I moved over to Encanto and um, then it took last year off performing but apart from that yeah you won't keep me away from this gorgeous place. For people that don't know what you do on stage what how do you answer that question let's say you run into somebody um, on the street and they ask you what kind of music do you perform 
I love so much because I've traveled all over this world. I've been to over 70 countries. So I pick up a lot of world beat grooves. So even though I'm from England, which is very on the beat, my hips move a little to music these days. So I love African Latin grooves. I love gypsy swing, um, flamenco. So all of that is fused into my music. And then I have all my travel stories. And um, I play, I'm a jazz piano player first and foremost, but then I play ukulele, I play guitar, I play harmonica, I play spoons, I play accordion. And um, I tell my stories through my songs. I suppose it's a bit like a photograph. Um, I've written songs about this beautiful place, Puerto Vallarta. And um, yeah, and I jam with the locals. So I, over the years, I've made different friends and I perform with the local musicians. And I'm excited because I'm playing with Zoe Wood coming up on Tuesday. And then I have my friend Roxanne Layton from Mannheim Steamroller. She's coming in from the States. To, to play, play recorder, right? Yes. You know, I was thinking about how to classify your music the other day. And the best classification that I came up with is you can go to the supermarket and get a blanket or you can pursue a, 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 an Afghan that somebody made by hand. <laughs> Your music sounds so handcrafted to me uh, as opposed to other musicians that do a lot more produced stuff. Is this is this an accurate depiction of I your think music? My music's like an Afghan rug. Yes, absolutely, I absolutely. Do. I know. No, but I, that, you know, he's so lovely. I mean, yes, because I mean, I suppose it's not perfect, yet it is perfect. You know, it's rough and rugged. It's like it's like this beach. It's a, it's a, it's it's messy and beautiful, and and I I live for that, and um, you know, I try and try and find uh, like the underbelly of things in my lyrics particularly and um, yeah nothing's perfect and that's what it's all about. I've noticed in some of your songs that you're rather passionate about the environment yeah. and, and you have written uh, one song in particular it, it, Plastic, plastic Island? Plastic Soup. Plastic Soup. Can you tell me a little bit of the lyrics of that song and, 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 and tell well, us how... I beach clean in Provincetown, Cape Cod where I live now you know um, and all over the world you go mexico i've been all around asia and anywhere you go you know it's plastic 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 and uh, you walk on the beaches and plastic turns up and 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 but don't feel small we can make a change and um if we all picked up plastic everywhere we went we would make a change but also we have to stop using it so much so even though my show is very upbeat and light I don't shy away from the important issues and yeah, I love nature, I love this beautiful world we've got to speak out, so clean the beaches and uh, it's about the plastic, uh, the gyres, the islands that are all over plastic um, pollution um, in our beautiful oceans. So I've sung this all over the world and everyone screams out, no, do you want plastic soup? <laughs> no, plastic soup is the little tiny bits of micro plastic, plastic that they call plastic soup or plastic smog. So that's what that song's about. You wrote a song about Puerto Vallarta. I did. How, how did a little bit of chili, a little bit of lime, how did that come about? Well, I love traveling when you you turn everything upside down and your definitions of, of everything that you perceived where you came from are, are completely different. Like the definition of being on time in Mexico is different. Um, in yeah, think? Japan, for instance, <laughs> or um, in England, you know, being on time in, in Mexico could be perhaps an hour late. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the definition of hot? Um, chili hot is very different than where I came from. What's the definition of full on a chicken bus? You know, mm -hmm. I, it might be full to you and me, but now it's not full. There's room for 50 more people. All of that. So uh, that's what. And I, yeah, woke up on a Sunday morning. Uh, in Emiliano Zapata and the bells were ringing and I was ready to go to the beach and listen to mariachis and sit there with the locals and enjoy a slice of humanity and, uh, and eat mangoes with chili on, tacos with chili on, oysters with chili on, um, everything with, with chili. chili on, so that's what that is. But not only did you compose it, you went, a, you went on to record it and you even made a music video of it. How did, did was that your idea or, or did you work with people that talked you into, how did that come about? Well, no, 
nowadays people listen to music with their eyes so uh, wow you know with the internet people like to watch things and you know like i said before my music sort of like a photograph I, I i see things and i just write them down i don't really take a lot of photos but for this i i was in for the and i was like we have to film everything we see all the things that are inspiring me at the moment the pelicans diving for a fish with their chopstick beaks the uh, mariachis the little girl the lady in the very skimpy bikini the mango on a stick all of the magic things that just surround us all the time that you take for granted and then you go home and you're and you're in snow or you're in a completely different culture and you need to remind yourself of this magic place so anyway we filmed it and i spliced it all together and voila if you look up uh, zoe lewis a little bit of chili you will find my video oh we will make sure to share uh, a link to that at the end of the interview what is your favorite food and drink while you're here well, I am enjoying my Pacifico right now. I did just have a Cielo Rojo. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm learning tequila. There's so much to learn about tequila. I mean, the non-synthetic sugars, and I'm just learning about that. So much, I, yeah, I didn't grow up with tequila in England, that's for sure. Um, my favorite food, well, we just have a lovely Wachinango. Oh and, yeah, uh, let, let, let us remind, uh, thank you for the reminder. We are sitting at El Oasis del Holi, and we're very grateful because they chose to give us the courtesy of turning their music down for a few minutes to conduct this interview. So El, o El Oasis del Holi is this wonderful getaway uh, sandwich between two humongous buildings uh, here near Fluvial, and this is a place that we love as locals and a big bird just flew by and I thought he was going to take the camera with it. I love it's a it. Naughty grapple. And a naughty naughty bird. Zoe, is there something what is the takeaway? What is it that you want people to take with them after enjoying one of your live performances? Well, it's funny you should ask that. Well, we're sitting here surrounded by high-rise buildings. Yet we're sitting amongst the palm trees in this little oasis with the grackle that just flew over us. It's rustico. That's why I'm here. It's rustico and beautiful. Don't forget the magic. It's these little nuggets when you're traveling that you find that aren't ruined, really, that I cherish so much. And thank you, Paco, for bringing me here. And, you know, I, that's, we've got to keep them. We've got to hold on to them. So that's a big thing. You know, I'm... My little village in England and my little village I live now in Puerto Vallarta and the rest of the world. We have to hold on to these beautiful magic places. It's also inside of us too. So I have numerous songs that deal with this. You are a magic too. So if you want a little magic, I play on Tuesdays and Saturdays uh, at Encanto at 7.30. And I would love you to join us. Well, it's a pleasure to connect. It will be a pleasure to connect again once Roxanne arrives. It'll be so much fun. Uh, folks, I cannot stress enough that seeing Zoe do her show live is, is truly a magical experience. You will get storytelling, you will get comedy, you will get great music, and you will leave feeling so happy that you attended. Zoe, thank you very, very much. Thank you, my love, darling. Salud, everybody. Salud, everyone. And thank you very much for enduring the bad sound. You know, it's a little windy, so I hope the sound is good. And um, see you soon. OK, bye. And now let's take a look at our weather forecast for today. The sun is a total failure. Okay. I would have burned these clouds away ages ago, says our snarky weatherman. Gotta love our weatherman when he's in a bad mood or a good mood. We don't know. All we know is it's 24 degrees right now. Feels like 26. Humidity is high at 70%. And our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 74. 
four. What is going to happen today? Well, today we can expect a partly cloudy day with a high temperature of 27, low temperature of 17. Tuesday is going to be, tomorrow is going to be clear through the day with a high temperature of 28, low temperature 17. And then Wednesday, it'll be a clear day with a high temperature of 29 and a low temperature of 16. And of course, that was our interview with Zoe Lewis. Um, I can't wait to go see her live. I love spending time with her. And if uh, you've never had the pleasure of hearing her live, it is live music as it should be because I should add that whenever Zoe is performing in town she does not waste an opportunity to get to know and jam and perform with local musicians so you can be uh, guaranteed that every performance she does is going to be completely different and she's um, she's jamming with a bunch of people and I, of course I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing her uh, perform with Roxanne Layton um, so there you have it. So what happened yesterday, if I may share a little bit of a perfect day for me, is I, I first of all, I slept in, which my body decided I would sleep in, which was wonderful. Then I headed over to the Oasis del Holi with some friends to enjoy a day on the beach. And a day on the beach at Oasis del Holi is so different from, say, spending the day in Los Muertos Beach. For starters, it is not crowded. It is not crowded. We got there at 11.30 to ensure that we had a perfect table close to the uh, close to the ocean, as close to the ocean as possible. It was a breezy day. Um, I had not had any food, so I had ordered breakfast. And then later on, because we stayed there for a while, I ordered a, uh, an afternoon snack. So we we just sat around and enjoyed the breeze and enjoyed the uh, the company of dear friends, Zoe and her partner Sharon had never been there before. And if I find pleasure in something, it is showing a place for the first time to someone that has never experienced it before. And they were thrilled because for better or worse, they spend a lot of their time in Emiliano Zapata because that's where they're, they're staying and that's where they're performing. But I love the fact that they have such an adventurous spirit. They always want to get to know new people and see new, new surroundings. And then after we had breakfast and lunch, a few of us went over to La Isla to watch this movie called Moonfall, uh, which is totally silly, disaster, end of the world, Independence Day style uh, filmmaking. Um, we were well prepared for it because we took, um, well, we ate a brownie. Yes, we did. We ate a brownie one hour before the movie so that as soon as we sat down at the theater, it was absolutely it had kicked in. So it was perfect to sit at the theater after spending a day on the beach, just chilling in the air conditioning air and enjoying a film. And of course, after that, I just walked home and, um, and, and chilled. And as always, I did a little bit of a pre-news screening late last night. I realized, oh, there's not a lot of headlines. Hopefully there will be some headlines tomorrow morning. And this morning, of course, this being a day off, I just could not find a lot of news. So I figured I might as well edit this interview in a hurry instead of presenting it tomorrow as I thought I would. I hope you will indulge the fact that I presented it today. And that's what we have for you today. Let me take a quick look at your comments and see what everybody is up to. The good mornings we know are here and we love them. Michael Young, where have you been? It is great to see that you are joining us. I hope that you're enjoying your time here in Puerto Vallarta. So nice to see you. I wonder what you've been up to. Please let us know. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, Jonathan wants a recommendation for a place to watch the Super Bowl on Sunday. Um, is that this coming Sunday? Well, I would imagine that, um, okay, here are a couple of places that come to mind. I am sure that Nacho Daddy is going to show the Super Bowl. They always show sports things like that. Um, if you want to watch it in, in big, big screen comfort, I am sure that nine ninety nine at the Sheraton, which is a huge restaurant with the most ginormous television screen in the city, I'm sure, is going to, I'm sure they're going to be broadcasting the Super Bowl. Other than that, I am curious to see what other suggestions you get. Um, 
Good morning, Paco. True story. I just turned you on. Ooh, I felt that. I just turned you on and my hubby just said, is that Paco? We enjoy listening to you every morning and thank you for the suggestion of Whiskey Kitchen. Amazing food and entertaining entertainment. Amazing. Well, Lori, I am stoked because Whiskey Kitchen is coming to my neighborhood. They're going to be literally like half a block away. And if all goes well, we will have a little shindig there um, just to welcome them to the neighborhood. Um, let's see what else we have. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, no. Ramon is going back to Los Angeles. I hope you enjoyed your stay. And I hope you'll stay connected. Every time you miss Puerto Vallarta, you know you can connect through hop, uh, through coffee and headlines. Uh, -pam -pam. Da -da 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 -dee. Bidi -bidi -da -ba -ba. Albert, I hope your sister is here and she arrived without incident. And I hope you're going to go exploring restaurants together. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -pam -pam. Ba -da -pam. Uh, Christy says, so wish I could be there to enjoy Zoe. Well, we will we will go for you. We will go on your behalf, Christy, and uh, and we will tell you every detail about it. Absolutely. Uh, we're here going to town. Coco's, here we come. I suppose that's Coco's Kitchen. Good for you, Jeff. Enjoy your meal there. Uh, Alan continues to count. That's wonderful. Um, let's see. Oh, Betsy, you have no idea. Um, well, I'm sure you do, but let me tell you, she, Zoe is, she is one of those performers that I never, never want to miss here in Puerto Vallarta. And I'm going to recommend her wholeheartedly. Um, Enjoy the interview. Maybe you could do more throughout the year. Well, that's the general idea, Rod. We are uh, definitely on the on the plan of increasing the number of interviews that we do uh, moving forward. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, Lynn confirms that Sheraton Bugambilias does uh, screen the Super Bowl again. Nine ninety nine. Not only is it a great restaurant, it's a great sports bar. And it is one of the few, if not the only, uh, restaurant in Puerto Vallarta where you can enjoy every single native um, to Mexico um, strong spirit. You know there's tequila. You know there's raicilla. You know there's mezcal. But that's only three of a few more from other parts of the country. And last time I was at 9.99, I enjoyed a lovely tasting of all these liqueurs and it was absolutely wonderful. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you can live stream Zoe. Well, unfortunately, you know, she's staying at a, she's staying, uh, she's performing at Encanto. It's not up for me to live stream from the venue, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, Encanto will choose to live stream her. Uh, maybe you can suggest that directly to the venue. But um, but again, I was just so happy to be able to share a little bit of Zoe with you uh, this morning. And this brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Again, I'm sorry there were no news, but I hope this was a, a decent substitute for a way to start the week. I am starting the week really happy and grateful for a great day off. And um, we're starting to explore with a new camera. I am being careful. And uh, hopefully we will start doing Taco Tuesdays and Walking Wednesdays again very soon. Thank you so much for your patience. And thank you for joining us this morning. I hope the beginning of your week is going to be amazing. And uh, thank you for staying in touch. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.